Evening parents, grandparents, family members, friends, Superintendent Bernard, Chairman Lexer, members of the North Reading School Committee, North Reading High School faculty, and most importantly, the members of class of 2017. As principal, it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you to the 60th commencement exercises for North Reading High School. <laughs> Members of the class of 2017 have adopted the phrase that the 90s saved the best for last. While some may dismiss this as merely a memorable slogan for the front of a t-shirt, for this group of graduates in front of us all, this evening, I believe the phrase does have a deeper meaning. It denotes a perspective to the past for a clearer identity. And isn't a connection to the past one of the surest ways to arrive at the most meaningful and complete definition? These young men and women are a connection to the past, and their journey here is a storied one. In conducting a brief record of their path to today, for some of these graduates, one would have to start in Stoneham, where many young kindergartners began their days in North Reading Public Schools in Stoneham. Then they traveled back to the Batchelder School, the new Batchelder School, that is, and then joined their fellow classmates in the middle school. Not the new middle school, but the old middle school. And that is before the old high school became the new middle school. <laughs> I'm not sure we need an homage to Abbott and Costello right now, so I will refrain from elongating the whole old middle school, new middle school, old high school routine, but we know it's there, low-hanging fruit. Nevertheless, members of the class of 2017 did most certainly begin their high school career as freshmen in the old high school the last group of North Reading freshman students in those halls. But it is not fair nor appropriate to compare the old ramp to Sea Wing with today's Main Street, nor the old weight room, if it was ever referred to as such, with that one universal rack that you could rarely find a pin for with the fitness center of our new school. Some of our graduates over here saying, there was a weight room in the old high school? Many of you came from similar places, shared some familiar experiences as you grew, and possessed many common goals, but at the high school, you modeled togetherness, teamwork, and school pride. Like few before you, working together these past four years, you have made the school a very special place. And as I stated moments ago, this marks the 60th graduating class of a North Reading High School. Our diamond jubilee, so to speak. And I think the symbol, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the symbolism is significant. Diamonds are made by heat and pressure and consist primarily of carbon. Many scientists will tell you that carbon is arguably the most important element it is the foundation of organic chemistry. Carbon's unique stature as one that could claim the top spot in the entire list of elements is due primarily to one thing, its bonding properties. And to continue with this analogy suitably, you are truly a group with unique bonding properties. Furthermore, in the classroom, on the stage, and in a variety of venues of athletic competition, you have been in situations where the heat was intense and the pressure great. And you have endured and emerged hardened, versatile, priceless. Diamonds are defined by the four C's, as my wife constantly reminds me. Cut, color, clarity, and carat weight. The cut of a diamond will determine its beauty. Surely not all diamonds are cut the same they are subject to the skill of its cutter. Each of you has been cut by a different craftsman, and most likely only you know who that is. 
The diamond's color can range from a number of hues. However, it is significant to note that the many of the color, many of the color changes can be so subtle that they can only be detected under professional magnification. Clarity refers to flaws or blemishes that add character to a diamond and do not necessarily diminish the value but add to the uniqueness of the stone. Making mistakes is a natural component of learning. They are essential to building our knowledge, guiding our actions, and shaping our character. Carat refers to the diamond's physical weight measured in metric carats. It is the most objective grade of the four measurements. As a group, your accomplishments have been prodigious. State championships, league championships, performance awards, and recognition in academics, arts, and athletics. These cannot be disputed or dismissed. They are reflective of real accomplishments. And tonight you stand on the boundary of tomorrow, marking the ending of your comforting routine for the past four years. This is not a reference to iced coffee from Duncan's greasing your morning arrival to the upper parking lot at 7.29 and 59 seconds. Not that routine with a capital R, not that routine. But tonight is an end to what is known and the beginning of some exciting and daunting unknowns. There are real challenges ahead for you, regardless of what lies in front of you or where you go, of that there is little doubt. But remember this, not money, nor power, nor fame, nor friends can carry you as far as your integrity. Be resolute, be steadfast, created by pressure and heat, but able to bond and connect to construct and create. Keep your old friends, but make new ones. As you get older, you will come to rely on them far more than you may know. I believe you are an exceptional group of young people. Your four years here have been remarkable, a true and worthy gift marking our great school's 60th anniversary class, and I am proud to have served as your principal. It is quite possible that the 90s did indeed save the best for last. We'll wait and see, but I think you are well on your way. Congratulations, class of 2007. Great pleasure to introduce Superintendent of Schools, Mr. John Bernard. Thank you, Mr. Lopret. Good evening, parents, grandparents, family members, friends, members of the North Reading School Committee, district administrators, North Reading High School faculty, and a special welcome and congratulations to the students of North Reading High School's class of 2017. I share in the pride of all of us in attendance this evening who are here to celebrate this milestone achievement, your graduation from high school. Several weeks ago when I began the annual pleasurable task of writing the first draft of my remarks to present to all of you at this commencement ceremony, I found myself especially reflective and reminiscent, recalling that it was nearly four years ago that, as your high school principal at that time, I welcomed you, the last class to attend the old North Reading High School and the last class for which I would serve as principal for a full year. And how the four years have gone by and what a legacy you have left behind. You've left your school with more than you have taken and you have made your school and your community better by being good and honorable young people. And I wish to extend to you both my appreciation and my respect for the way in which you have conducted yourselves as students of the North Reading Public Schools and the lasting impact you will undoubtedly have on both your high school and the school district. It is a long-standing tradition in North Reading that the superintendent of schools offers a charge to the graduates. And so it is that this evening I will fulfill this tradition. This year I found inspiration for my charge to you, our graduates, in the words of United States Navy Admiral William McRaven, whose commencement speech in 2014 to the graduates of the University of Texas at Austin was recently released in a book titled Make your bed, little things that can change your life and maybe the world. So this is my charge to you, make your bed.
In a world that seems to be increasingly complex and sometimes complicated, I have found Admiral McLaren's words, as simple as they may appear on the surface, to be worthy of contemplation. It is my hope that his thoughts, as I share them with you now and ask you to connect them to your life experiences thus far and consider their value for the future, will resonate with you too. The thrust of Admiral McLaren's wisdom is that making one's bed is a simple task, yet when completed first thing in the morning, it signals an accomplishment that the tasks that follow throughout the day will become increasingly achievable. Making one's bed should become part of a daily routine. If, after all, as McLaren notes, we are unable to tackle the simple things in life, then the more complex challenges certainly will be less likely to be completed to an acceptable level of satisfaction. It is crucial to start each day with a task completed. Remember to make your bed first thing in the morning. There is a great deal more of McLaren's speech and his book that resonates with me and which I still find great value in, largely because of the simplicity of his words which serve as a reminder to me that sometimes it is easy to lose our focus when the increasingly complex challenges of daily life confront us. Like completing a simple task at the start of each day, McLaren offers nine other principles for success in life, each one poignant and memorable. As I have witnessed the growth and maturation of our graduates these last four years, there are four of Admiral McLaren's nine other principles that I believe are most applicable, applicable for our graduates today as you conclude a significant chapter in your young lives and look to a promising and exciting life ahead. Among these principles are, you can't go it alone, only the size of your heart matters, failure can make you stronger, and give people hope. I find these principles to be the most poignant for you, our graduates, as you sit before me this evening on the cusp of further honing your futures. The months and years ahead will be a period of time in which you are further shaped as a person. Remember your past, or it will no doubt serve you well as you think about where you are headed. There are undoubtedly many, many people who have been alongside you thus far in your life that have supported you and encouraged you. These people and others will be increasingly important as you strive to meet the challenges associated with furthering your education, serving your country, meeting the demands of your work, and making the most of the relationships you will forge. Remember, you can't go it alone. And as you leave North Reading High School and head to wherever life leads you, remember to take notice of the kindnesses that have been extended to you and seek to reciprocate by being kind and polite and respectful of all those with whom you come into contact. Seek to emulate those people who have, you have met and who possess these important qualities. Measure a person by the size of their heart and seek to be measured by the size of your heart. It is your heart that will gain you the respect and favor of others and this will sustain you and bring you great satisfaction in life. Remember, the size of your heart matters. You have no doubt heard before that failure can be a good thing that it builds character. Failure adds meaning to the things we seek to achieve by building resiliency and challenging us. Admiral McLaren tells us that failure makes us stronger, and he reminds us that if we persevere and let failure teach us and strengthen us, that we will be prepared to handle life's toughest moments. Each of us here today has experienced failure. How we respond to failure will be one important measure of our success. Lastly, as I fulfill my responsibility to you as your superintendent of schools, I expand my charge to you and I ask that you give people hope. It is easy to fall prey to victimization and cynicism and hopelessness and increase our reliance on others to make our way through the day. What is not always easy, yet critically important, is to remain hopeful and to work on your own with others as a support, not a crutch, to achieve your goals. In doing so, you will demonstrate hope for all that is good in both the short term and the long term. Hope is very powerful. It can inspire and it can raise up the downtrodden. Hope can ease pain and loss. Sometimes all it takes is one person to make a difference. Be that person. I am confident that if you do so, you will make things better for those around you and, in turn, for yourself. So remember to make your bed each morning in both the literal and figurative sense. Accomplishing a small task at the start of each day as a matter of routine will give you a sense of accomplishment and pride and will encourage you to complete additional tasks, simple and complex. If you can't do the little things right, you will never do the big things right. 
I thank you for allowing me to share on this special occasion with you this evening, and you have my very best wishes for much peace and happiness in your lives ahead. I am so very proud of each and every one of you, and have so enjoyed being a part of your lives these last few years. May God bless you in the years to come, and may your futures be filled with the realization of all of your dreams and aspirations. Congratulations, and thank you. Good afternoon, faculty, families, friends, the class of 2017, and my godfather, Uncle Tim. I will be honest and say that this speech has not been the easiest assignment I have been given, but I have approached it like all of my high school essays. Wait until the last absolute hour on the night before it is due and figure something out. I wrote this speech on the last day of school, and personally, I think it would pass as a solid B. By the way, I know what you're thinking, and yes, this mentality is the reason why I'm number three in the class, and not one. <laughs> As I finished up my last exam last Friday, and sat bored to death for my final 30 minutes of high school, 
I reflected on my experience at North Reading High School. 259,200 minutes we were in high school. 259,200 minutes we struggled through DBQs, DDMs, SATs, math problems, and dreadful essays. We thought that the we thought that the long nights of studying and days of using Google Translate to finish Spanish projects would never end, but class of 2017, I am proud to say that we have finally made it. And what do I think now that I have experienced all of it and have finished and moving on? Wow, those days flew by and I enjoyed every single one of them. I would not trade any of the experiences that I had with my classmates for the world. From watching our sports teams make deep runs in the tournaments, to hiding together at parties that I was most definitely not at, these experiences have shaped us and brought us closer together. Although I know I will see my close friends when I come back, it is my classmates who I admire that I will not see again that makes me sad. So my one piece of advice for you, the class of 2017, is to enjoy all the times and live every day of your lives to the fullest because you never know the times you are living in are the good times. Unarguably, yes, hands down the best Netflix show of all time, The Office, said it best in their last episode when they explained the pain associated with leaving. I quote, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you leave them. Class of 2017, you will never know when these days are, so appreciate every day that God has given you. I would be dumbfounded if you told me that the days when I worked 25 hours a week at Ocean State Job Lot, followed by a weekend filled with questionable decisions, would be the days I miss. <laughs> However, that's life and time flies by and all you can do is enjoy the moments. As many of you know, I am reporting on July 3rd to the United States Military Academy at West Point. I will be involved. the most difficult and testing challenge I have, under, I have ever undertaken. I leave 24 days from today. So how will I live out those 24 days? I will live them to the fullest, surrounding myself with family and friends and all of you, the class of 2017. Before I conclude, there are a few people I feel compelled to thank as I feel they deserve special recognition. My teachers, I want to thank for their patience and guidance and for putting up with me the, my final two quarters on the days that I didn't have golf tournaments as I had a great senior slide. <laughs> Specifically, I would like to thank Mr. Marine, Mr. Moreno. Senor, gracias por ser el mejor maestro en el mundo. If you didn't understand that, don't feel bad. Even after five years of Spanish and AP Spanish, I will admit that I still use Google Translate on that sentence. <laughs> I would like to thank the administration for all that they do and for establishing one of the most ridiculous late policies of all time. <laughs> I also want to thank my mom, dad, and best friend and brother Tyler for their love, support, and encouragement. Finally, I want to thank each and every one of my fellow classmates for making our collective experience at North Reading High School so great. I pray that each one of you succeeds and lives your life to the fullest. Good luck, class of 2017. I wish you the best, and one last important thing I have to say. Go Army, beat Navy. It is my pleasure now to introduce Connor Essayist and Andrew Shedd. Good evening, classmates, family, and friends. I'm honored to be here and plan to speak about the people, activities, and subjects that inspired me in high school and what I learned about seizing opportunities and working hard. Since I started high school, I've passed on countless opportunities, but took two risks that I can already tell changed my life. The first was when I tried when I decided not to try out for the golf team my freshman year. Instead, I joined the cross country team and suffered through my first season of running. Still, I found myself signing up for cross country and track season after season until I couldn't imagine doing anything else. The runners are continually one of the nicest groups in the school and are coached by Mr. Ryan Spinney, the best coach any of us have ever had. Sorry, Mr. Dorval, but you left us. I'm a runner for life because I joined that team on a whim my freshman year. 
Later that same year, I was deciding whether to take computer science or accounting. My grandfather, uncle, and mother are all accountants, making it the obvious choice. But for whatever reason, I chose computer science. Now, I can program in more languages than I can count, and I'm planning on majoring in computer science and math. I feel it's safe to say I made the right choice. The teachers who teach these subjects also deserve special thanks. Mr. Dorval, who teaches calculus and statistics, and Mr. Hoffman, who teaches computer science. By taking these two opportunities, I have found two things I'm passionate about. And so my first bit of advice is an old favorite. Try new things and find what you're passionate about, keeping in mind you might never guess what you'll grow to like. Once you find that one thing you really like and you're really good at, work to be better at it. I've spent countless days by waking up, running, and then sitting in front of a computer for hours straight playing with code and operating systems. Even though some of my teachers in the audience might disagree, when I'm focused, I work hard and get results. I may be standing up here because of high marks, but I doubt that would be the case if not for the countless hours I've spent pouring, book, pouring over books and documentation, be it for school or leisure. Mo the most successful people, from professional athletes to business people, say they weren't the most talented people they ever competed against, but owe their success to working harder than everyone else to achieve. As I look at our classmates on this field, I see, count, I see a lot of hard work and accomplishments. These are the students that would stay up until two in the morning, night after night, to get perfect marks or plan an event for our class. I'm sure I can speak for many of us in saying that if you find your passion, the thing you're really good at, and work to be better at it. You can't go wrong. Hopefully all of us can find our passions. Best of luck to the class of 2017. It is my pleasure to introduce the final honor essayist, Vitaly Andrew Session. Good evening, fellow students. I'd like to start off by thanking our esteemed faculty, Superintendent Bernard, Vice Principal Downs, and all the families in attendance. You are the ones that brought us to this point. I came to North Reading four years ago. The group of freshmen I saw at orientation is not the same one that sits before me today. We've all changed, recognized interests, realized passions, tried new things, and molded ourselves into a diverse people. The past four years have shaped us more than anything before that. We have changed each other, helped each other, failed together, and prevailed together. Each of us defined by the friends that sit around us. When I came to this town, there were a few things I was sure on doing. I began in the band, knowing it was one of my favorite activities in middle school. I also joined the soccer team, not really sure why. My interests changed, and I had not continued these activities all four years, but they were both an integral part of my experience here. They helped me realize what I wanted to focus my time on and what I had to let go. High school's a time we try new things, niche into all the nuances of these activities. For example, I joined the wrestling team my freshman year. I stepped on that mat completely unaware of what and who was going to hit me. Through my time on that team, I may not have learned to wrestle, but I learned about camaraderie and the impact of your peers on what you accomplish. This class has achieved more than I can recount. How do we do this? by pushing each other to our fullest potential. We competed with each other. You helped each other attain more than we ever thought we could. This is what I implore all of you to continue to do as we part. Whether it be in the classroom, on the field, or in the workplace, challenge each other and yourselves. It's the only path to success. I recently realized the necessity of passion. Everyone should find one thing they can care about and devote their lives to it. For some of you, it will end up being your job. For others, just a hobby. But whatever it may be, put everything you have into it. The fulfillment from achievements in your passion is an unmatched feeling and will help drive you to true happiness in life. 
We all have journeys ahead of us that have not even begun. Some of us may have chosen a path, others have not. But when we all depart, it is important that we remember the past and learn from it. Remember the class of 2017.
to introduce your class essayist, Claire Bailey. Hello everyone. I'd like to take a minute to ask you to please put your phones away. No texting, snapchatting, tweeting, Instagramming, blogging, pages, or pictures. Mom, that means you. You have said it to me every day of high school, and now I get to say it to you. So phones away. I ask all of you to be present with me here and now for your high school graduation. Our parents' high school experience was different. If they didn't do an essay, there was no sharing it on Google Docs at midnight. If they didn't study for a test, there was no way to get a texted picture of a friend's study guide. Not that anyone in our fine upstanding class would even think of doing such a thing. So let me take you back to a time a few decades ago. Just imagine that you are a high school senior and it is 1987, a mere 30 years ago. You and your friends decide to spend the night at a football game. Not uncommon on a Friday night even now in North Reading. When you pull into the parking lot, you have no idea where all of your friends have parked. So what do you have to do? You have to talk to people around you. Get to know someone new. Maybe even someone you have never talked to before. Can you even imagine? During the game, you and this newfound friend might even cheer for your team together, high five at a touchdown, and boo the other team off of the field. In 1987, you would not exchange Instagrams you'd exchange home phone numbers. And when you call your new friend, all you could do was hope her mother didn't answer. And when she did, you had to get ready, make small talk, talk about the weather, Ghostbusters, and that crazy Indiana Jones. To get away from your own mother's prying ears, you would have to take your corded phone and wind it around the house and sit in a closet for your entire conversation. What can we take from the dark ages of 1987? <laughs> First, don't take this technology for granted and definitely don't abuse it. Second, whether, whether you are going into college, the armed forces, or the workforce, put down that phone. You do not to be sh need to be shielded by a dog face filter to make friends. Put your true unfiltered self out there. The world is just waiting to get to know the real you. Open your dorm room door and let people wander in. Turn to whoever is next to you in the break room. Ask them about themselves. Likes, dislikes, favorite cereal, how they eat their Oreos. You can tell a lot about a person by how they eat their Oreos. <laughs> for many of us, this is the first time we will leave our homes for an extended period. I hope each and every one of you can meet a new family in the next leg of your life. Not to replace the old one, but to keep you company and support you when you need it the most. Sunday family dinners don't have to end just because you move away from home. Encourage your friends to turn off their phone for an hour and have dinner with you. Talk about the weather, Ghostbusters, and that crazy Indiana Jones for all it matters. It could be 1987 or 2017, and still what really matters are the face-to-face -face connections you make with real people. This class has grown so tight over the last four years of high school, and I am so grateful for all of the friends I have here. No amount of likes or face swaps can replace the real bonds we share. While we still have our phones away, I would like to take a moment to give a huge thank you to the administration and school committee for making sure the class of 2017 is prepared for the challenges our futures hold. Thank you to all of my teachers who have taught me life lessons I will never forget. Thank you to my family and friends who have made high school such a positive experience. Congratulations everyone on your huge accomplishments here at North Reading High School. 
Go forth into the world, unfiltered, unplugged, and unafraid to be you. now my privilege to introduce the class of 2017 scholarship winners. I would ask that the recipient please stand when his or her name is called. I would also like to thank the community for its generosity in making these scholarships possible. The Barbara E. Elward Memorial Scholarship, Nadine Reston. James R. Elwood Memorial Scholarship, Matthew Lewis, the Arthur A. Baresi Memorial Scholarship, Hannah Lidotis, L.D. Batchelder School Scholarships, Andrew Shedd, Nicole Shedd, Joseph R. Bernard Memorial Scholarship, Elena Wise. In Biz Builders Scholarship, George Jutta. <laughs> Kristen M. Callahan Memorial Scholarship, Joanna Keaton. <laughs> Scott Wells Nutrition Services Scholarship, James Moda. <laughs> Joseph Kuti in Edward Collins Memorial Scholarship, Jackson Schilly. <laughs> Larry Dicer. North Reading Girls Youth Basketball Scholarship, Katerina Hasapis. Fitzgerald Prize for Community Service in memory of Kaylee and Roy Fitzgerald Patrick Davis. Felita Kuchins Gibson Memorial Scholarship, Zachary Roberts. Betsy Pavoni Memorial Book Award, Kimberly Bockley. Stephen Gregory Scholarship, Thomas McHugh. James Gregory Hannon Scholarship, Eleanor Burgess. Edith F. Holt Scholarship, Courtney Coppolis. Robert Hunt Memorial Scholarship, Patrick Davis. David Jameson and Todd Verdonk Memorial Scholarships, Drew Delano, Robert Donahue, John Marula. <laughs> Frederick Keyes Memorial Scholarships, Claire Finnegan, Thomas Helms III. <laughs> e. Ethel Little School Scholarships, Sean Buckley, Olivia Shapiro. <laughs> Anthony J. Lopret Jr. Memorial Scholarship, Jordan Chelly. Elks Scholarships Incorporated Major Project, David Brown, Anna Lidotis, Haley Nathan, Logan Stansby, Emily Zhang, Walter Miller Scholarship, Drew Delano, Michael J. Mitten Memorial Scholarship, Taryn Gigley, Moynihan Lumber Scholarship, Alara Maya. Reading Community Choral Scholarships, Valerie Stebbins, Neva Ventulo. <laughs> North Reading Education Association Scholarship, Christina Copeland. <laughs> North Reading Girls Softball League Scholarship, Julia Peroni. <laughs> North Reading High School Boys Lacrosse Boosters Scholarship, James Doran. North Reading High School Hockey Boosters Scholarship, James Doran. North Reading High School Parents Association Scholarship, Ashley D'Souza. North Reading Historical and Antiquarian Society Scholarship, Richard Wu. North Reading Little League Scholarship, Phil Dardano President's Award, Jackson Schilly. North Reading Little League Harold B. Reynolds Memorial Scholarship, 
Daniel Madden. Award winning Lodge of Basins Scholarships, Claire Bailey, Jessica Kelly. Award winning Music Boosters Scholarships, Thomas Lasden, Daniel Maloney, Olivia Shapiro, Valerie Stebbins, Neva Ventula. North Reading Police Association Criminal Justice Scholarship, Anthony Tremitosi. <laughs> North Reading Boyden Club Scholarships, Drew Delano, Robert Donahue, John Marula. <laughs> North Reading Town Republican Committee Scholarship, Anthony Tremitosi. <laughs> North Reading Youth Football League and Cheerleading Scholarships, Matthew McCarthy, Jenna O'Leary. <laughs> North Reading Youth Football President's Scholarship, Emily Brooks. <laughs> North Reading Youth Hockey Scholarships, Sean Buckley, Jackson Schilly. <laughs> North Reading Youth Soccer Board of Directors Scholarship, Carlos Moreno. <laughs> North Reading Youth Soccer Scholarship in memory of Janet Connolly O'Neill. Anthony Tramontosi. <laughs> North Reading Youth Scholarships. David Brown, Christina Kopolis, Katerina Hasapis, Jensen Kaitamadam, Haley Nathan, Zachary Roberts. <laughs> North Reading Women of the Moose Scholarship. Katerina Hasapis. Frank L. Prusik Memorial Scholarship, Logan Stansbury. Robert Ramsdell Boys Youth Basketball Scholarship, Thomas Helms III. Reading Cooperative Bank Scholarship, Gabriel Lanzaro. Edward A. Sapienza Scholarship, John Marullo. Bonnie K. Symes Memorial Scholarship, Shay Malloy. Richard K. Smith Scholarship, Julia Kashachi. Sarah Valenti Memorial Scholarship, sponsored by North Reading Boys Lacrosse Boosters, Sean Buckley. Sarah Valenti Memorial Scholarship, sponsored by North Reading Hockey Boosters, Jackson Schilly. Greeley Born Scholarship Trust Fund, Chloe Gladu. Wakefield Lodge of Elks, number 1276 scholarships. Daniel Donovan Memorial Scholarship, David Brown. Thomas M. Ryan Memorial Scholarship, David Brown. William Joseph Memorial Scholarship, William Phelan III. Frederick J. DeVries, PER, PDD, HLM Scholarship, William Phelan III. Scholarship Committee Award, given in the name of James H. Murphy, Susanna Sapp. Departed Member Scholarship, given in memory of J. Merrill Jr., P.E.R. Alana Wise. West Village, excuse me, West Village Women's Club Scholarship, Michael Portiello. Congratulations to all scholarship winners. <laughs> the following list of graduates have been awarded scholarships by the North Reading Dollars for Scholars. Please remain standing when your name is called. And my sincere thanks to the Dollars for Scholars Committee for your efforts on behalf of our students. Erica Beharrell, Kimberly Bockley. David Brown, Alessandra Budney, Eleanor Burgess, Jamie Curry, Patrick Davis, Griffin Elis, Claire Finnegan, Jensen Kadamato, Joanna Keaton, Julia Kishachi, Rebecca Levitt, Matthew McCarthy, Robert O'Donnell, Catherine Pokora, Julia Peroni, Zachary Robarts, Liam Rutherford, Susanna Sapp, 
Andrew Shedd, Nicole Shedd, Brooke Sponzo, Logan Stansbury, Connor Stead, Valerie Stebbins, Nicole Sullivan, Anthony Tramatozzi, Cameron Wayne, Richard Wu, your Dollar for Scholars scholarship winner. Members of the class of 2017, I want to thank you for the love, the respect that you have shown me, and I hope all of you know how much I care about you as, a, as individuals and as a class. You have demonstrated the qualities that we expected at our school and in our community. You truly have accomplished many great things at North Reading High School. The class of 2017 will be remembered for so many great accomplishments and academics, athletics, performing arts, the arts, and other activities where they represent our school. I wish you all the success in the past that you choose, whether it's college, work, or serving our great nation in the armed services. What I remember the most is the amount of true respect that you have for our school the last three years, and for that, I will always be grateful. You've given me so many great memories that I truly am a lucky person. And lastly, I love you all. <laughs> Superintendent Bernard, Mr. Webster, on behalf of the faculty and staff of North Reading High School, it is my great pleasure and honor to present to you the following members of the class of 2017 who have satisfied the requirements of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and North Reading Public School System to receive their high school diplomas. <laughs> Natali Yurovich Andrew Shushin. Andrew Hunter Shedd. Logan Spicer Stansbury. Jensen Joes Kaidamethum. Yolara Diaz Maya. Anthony Giovanni Tremintosi. Claire Elizabeth Bailey, Cameron Michael Davis, Catherine Marie Bacora, Elena Rose Alaferis. Mario Peter Ameno. Victoria Josephine Angelesco. Cassandra Janet Arsenis. Michael Paul Bartram. Madison Caroline Baxter. Dylan James Beauregard. Julian James Beauregard. Erica Lynn B. Harrell. Noah Francis Bolinowitz. Kimberly May Bockley. Ryan Patrick Bratton. Michelle Catherine Braden.
Sean Matthew Brogan. Emily Ann Brooks. David Michael Brown. Sean Patrick Buckley. Alessandra Claire Budney. Eleanor Sullivan Burgess. Samantha Lynn Catano. Andrew Stephen Campagna. Lindsay Devin Carroll. Antonio Catino III. Jordan Mary Michelle Chelly. Colin William Chase. Madeline Catherine Chase. Tyler Nicholas Collins. Joyce Coppolis. Christina Lynn Coppolis. Kyle Stephen Corsetti. Shane Michael Coskrin. Claudia Marissa Cunio. Jamie Morgan Curry. Leonardo Coto de Fonseca. Lisa Marie Dale. Patrick Joseph Davis. Gianna Nicole Delaney. Drew Thomas Delano. Nicholas Salvatore Della Sola. Ashley Taylor D'Souza. <laughs> Dominica Marie D'Estacio. <laughs> Robert Francis Donahue. <laughs> James Thomas Doran. <laughs> Tiago Barreto Dovali. Downer. <laughs> Emily Rose Wire. <laughs> Corey James Dyer. <laughs> Anthony Joseph Eldridge. <laughs> Griffin Alexander Ellis. Massimo Domenico Femia. Claire Rose Finnegan. Michael Robert Finnecaro. Joseph Ryan Fitzgerald. Shannon Marie Fuller. Cassidy Ray Ada. Marissa Ruth Galupo. Karen Kathleen Gately. Aaron William Gotro. 
Austin Xavier Guerrier. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Gilbert. <laughs> George Lawrence Juta. <laughs> Stephen Anthony Gerleo. <laughs> Chloe Marie Therese Bladu. the fourth. Joseph Robert Gontier. Timothy Wilson Goucher. Matthew William Gravelisi. Matthew John Hall. Katarina Lefke Mazapis. <laughs> Thomas Werner Helms III. <laughs> Kaleke Askia on Neil One Herbert. <laughs> Andrew Perry Hudson. <laughs> Aaron Elizabeth Hunter. Stephen K. Joanna Faith Keaton. <laughs> Jessica Marie Kelly. Kristen Kelly Keogh. Tatiana Maeve Kittrich. Madeline Julia Knight. We go, Maddie! Yeah! Julia Marie Kushakji. Gabrielle Michaela Linzaro. Thomas Moore Lasden. Rebecca Ann Lovett. Matthew Joseph Lewis. Connor James Lilly. Tia Marie Long. Hannah Elizabeth Vidotis. Courtney Katrina Lynch. Daniel Patrick Madden. Anthony Maldonado. Shay Angus Malloy. Daniel Lee Maloney. Holly Abigail Manzelli. Matthew Cole McCarthy. Michael Aldo McCauley. Chetta McDonald. Thomas Gilbert McHugh. Brian James McNulty. Shania Marie McTagg. Jeffrey Y. Mejia. John Joseph Marulo. James Chandler Palmer Moda. Robert 
William Moline. Carlos Daniel Moreno. Gianna Rose Mascarotolo. Jessica Taylor Hughes. Haley Basile Nathan. Samantha Millie Nimick. Jack Thomas O'Brien. Aiden Mark O'Connor. Robert Joseph O'Donnell. Jenna Rose O'Leary. William Joseph O'Neill. Spencer Mary O'Rourke. Gerard Polici. Caleb John Helmus. Julia Marie Peroni. Robert Logan Perry. William David Phelan. Cameron Joseph Piscatelli. Michaela Rose Prisco. Michael Daniel Quartiello. Carlos Enrique Ramirez. Christopher Paul Reardon. John Joseph Reardon. Nadine Marcel Reston. Jared, Jared Robert Regan. Zachary Charles Robarts. Ariana Lee Romeo. Adam Robert Rossetti. Liam Thomas Rutherford. Timothy Michael Ryan. Susanna Catherine Sapp. Jackson Dominic Chili. <laughs> Vanessa Therese Semeraro. <laughs> Olivia Rome Capiro. <laughs> Alice Margaret Shaw. <laughs> Nicole Amanda Shedd. Liam Joseph Slavin. Cameron John Logan Smith. Pauline Ann Smith. Anna May Sorensen. Kevin James Sovak. Casey Allison Sparks. Brooke Antonia Sponzo. Carly Michaela Sponzo. Asher 
me spur. Honor Francis Stead. Valerie Kendall Stebbins. Nolan James Stimson. Thomas John Stokes. Scott Richard Strangeman. John Francis Stringer. Nicole Ann Sullivan. Sean Michael Tilton. Jackson Charles Tormey. Scott Francis Valenti. Natalia Teresa Vasquez. Neva Luna Ventulo. Andrew Nicholas Bonsolatis. Cameron James Wade. Daniel Michael Wall. Kaylin Rose Walsh. Cynthia Jameson Walsh. Aubrey Mullen Waterhouse. Nathaniel Joseph Wilson. Sarah Marie Wilson. Seth Victor Wing. Elena Marie Wise. Colin Matthew Witz. Anna Elizabeth Wright. Richard Wu. Thomas Philip Warnenen. Marissa Rose Zarella. Jacob Benjamin Zalitman. Jonathan Michael Zui. Emily Han Sang. Ladies and gentlemen, families, friends, I present to you an authentic and original group of students. These are the graduates, graduates of North Reading High School, class of 2017. Congratulations to the class of 2017. My name is Jensica Demetum, the class president. Next to me are my fellow class officers, Vice President Yolara Maya, Secretary Anthony Tramontosi, and Treasurer Logan Stansberry. On behalf of the four of us, I would like to express my gratitude in serving as, as class officers of the best class to walk the turf. I would like to begin my thanking for the faculty and staff for being caring, supportive, and an amazing influence throughout our four years. Thank you to the parents and the family members who have come to support us, not only today, but throughout our lives. We would also like to give a very special thank you to our class advisors, Mr. Doucette and Mrs. Gabriel. You both made our senior year 
not only enjoyable, but unforgettable. Serving as your class officers has been an absolute honor and pleasure. There has never been a dull moment. Whether it's Logan saying he can't make it to a meeting, or Anthony never getting anywhere on time, or Yolara calming me down in a debate, I think it's safe to say that I wouldn't have traded this experience for anything. Wow, what an incredible journey it has been. Our time at North Reading High School has been truly amazing. As we graduate and move on, our class will leave its mark in many ways. With our many athletic achievements to our academic rigor, our class is arguably the best to graduate in our NRHS. With our state's championships to our Cal titles, to drama accolades, our class has left behind a legacy that will never be forgotten. As the last class to attend the old high school, our graduation is symbolic of one chapter closing at North Reading High School and another one beginning. On behalf of the class of 2017, and in conjunction with other graduating classes, we have decided to donate a brand new electric sign welcoming visitors and regulars alike to this amazing place we call North Reading High School. Now, without further ado, Mr. Tremitozzi, will you please do us the honor? Class of 2017, together let's turn our tassels to the right to symbolize, I mean to the left, to symbolize, <laughs> to symbolize the beginning of the new stage in our lives. And now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, it is my honor to announce that the greatest class that has and never will walk the halls of NRHS has officially graduated. Congratulations, we made it. You may throw those caps.